again, Jason from Illusion Games here. We are back with yet more board game goodness. Today we are going to be checking out Ticket to Ride London. This was a small game we got a copy from Days of Wonder when we were down at UK Games at Expo 2019. Um, I played a few times. It's, it's Ticket to Ride. It's just Ticket to Ride, but faster, smaller, neater. I, I like it because it doesn't take as long. Because I find Ticket to Ride Europe is still a good game, but it's about an hour, hour and a half. This is 15, 20 minutes. It's for two to four players. It takes literally minutes to learn, and you can. It, it's the side of it. It's travel worthy. I, I could sell that to a tourist on travel, and yeah, it's great. Let's check out inside the box. Here we have it. So let's have a look inside this box. As you can see, nice small box. There's my hands for comparison. Really small, really tiny. Inside we have a little advertisement. Obviously, if you like Ticket to Ride London, why not get our other options? So yeah, there's Ticket to Ride Europe. There's Ticket to Ride. There's Ticket to Ride Rails and Sales. I believe there's a couple other ones. Here's a Ticket to Ride Japan now. Uh, possibly. Uh, it's a game that's going to keep coming. Um, the small leaflet is what your rules are on. As you can see, just tiny little leaflet. Oh, that's going all over the shops and throwing it around. That's what I'm saying. So light, I can throw it around. So yeah, there's the rules in a small leaflet. Again, if you play Ticket to Ride, you can play Ticket to Ride London. You can play Ticket to Ride New York, which is another smaller version, but uses taxi cabs. This one, on the other hand, has 68, I believe it is. Let me just whoop. 68 plastic buses. And the colours I would liken them to, uh, well, you can normal red, white, but this one's here, I would say more like pastel colours, like a purpley and a blue colour. There are four markers for each colour, boom, 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 and then you have, uh, you have your, uh, what do you call them, travel cards, they are actual pictures of, let's have a look, we have a milk cart, we have a taxi cab, we have, oh that's from Wacky Races, is it not, the Rocket Man movie? Uh, another vintage looking car for green. The buses with a nice a power band rainbow on them, which is pretty cool. Uh, then you got a yellow submarine, iconic. Uh, I assume might be an Aston Martin or a Porsche, or yeah, orange. Why the colors are there? Uh, some of them, I think we've covered all the colors in the box. Boom, cool. And then you have your destination tickets, which are nice and easy. Uh, always wear two to where, where you're going and where you're from. Hope I show that right. No. Uh, no, that is nine points. Up, down, up, down. Here we go. So you got to go from Buckingham Palace to Brick Lane. There are a shed load of them. So yep. Then you've got the board, which I'm going to show you is literally double the size of the box. That's it. Nice small board. So we'll set this up here. Um, and when you set up the game, the game's nice and easy to set. You give each player a set of tokens. I'm going to use these ones for preference, and we're going to do a two-player game. So. When you set up, you get you open up each box. You give each person their buses. One player there, and then we're gonna get the red player over here. Boom, like that. Then you give each player their marker, and they place the marker on the starting, which is actually the fifty. The fifty and zero are the same, so they go there. They start nicely, and here we go. So I'm gonna move these ones up here because we need to use the side of the board. So you have your destination tickets. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Shed a load of them, and then you your locate your travel tickets. So you shuffle them up. Obviously, don't look at them like I have, but hey ho. Um, shuffle, shuffle, shuffle. You give each player two blind ones. I believe it's two. I'm going to have to double check that because I think it was. Every other game is three. Ah, but two cards. Yeah, it's definitely two. Two transportation cards. One, two. It's three for ticket right, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, it's only three. Uh, and then you reveal five. One, two, three, four. Oh, there's a magic bus. And five. Then you shuffle up the tickets, location, the destination tickets, shuffle them up, you give each player two. Now, each player must keep at least one of the tickets. They look at them, they go, right, I've got to go from here to there. Mm, I'm going to keep that one. I'm not going to show, you don't show your opponents, and then you go, I don't think I can get that one, so this one goes to the bottom. Player two goes, they're both easy, and they're going to keep them. And that's that. Now, now, on a player's turn, they have three options. They can, option one, Claim travel cards, so they can take two cards. Either take one from here, and it's immediately replaced, like so, or they can take a blind one from the top of the deck. If they decide to take a bus from here, that counts as two picks. That counts as your two cards, so you just take that and you take no more. I'm gonna put these cards back, just because I pinched them. So, let's go over that again. You can go, you have two picks. They can go from blind, blind, or you can go deck, reveal and blind or you can go deck reveal and deck if you take a tray uh, bus it counts as two picks so I'll put some cards back just have two random cards in my hand your second option 
is you can get a new destination. To get a new destination, you just take one, two of your these cards, you look at them, and you must keep at least one. So let's have a look here. Um, we'll say we'll keep this one, and we'll put this to the bottom, like that. And that's that one. The final option is, I'm going to skip ahead here, is when you have a handful of cards, and you've collected loads of these destinations, you can claim a route. Now, let's see. We are going to claim, let's say we want to claim this route here. In order to claim this route, we must reveal and discard two cards that are black. So one, two. So we reveal them. Everyone agrees. They're moved to the discard pile. And you take two pluses of your color and place them on the table. Then I'm going to quickly just grab a couple for this player over here. So I'll just say he's got these ones. This player here is turned. They're now going to claim a route. They're going to claim, let's see what they're going to claim. Oop. They are going to claim, let's say... What have they got here? Whoa, it's a tough choice. They're going to claim this blue one. So blue, blue, blue. And they're going to go one, two, three, and they're discarded. Then it's back to this player. This player's like, oh, I've got plenty to do. I could claim another route. Now, these are gray sections. These gray sections can be claimed by any color. So example, this route here has to be claimed by two colors. And we're going to use yellow this time, but we're going to use one yellow to claim this part. And we're going to use the bus. The bus counts as any color you wish. It's a wild card. So I discard these two. Place one, place two, and you see I claimed that route. And the game just keeps going back and forth. And the game ends when one person is down to two buses. When one person gets down to two buses, each player left in the game, including the person with two buses, gets one additional turn. And at the end of the game, you score the points. Now, points are scored in different ways. You score points when you claim a route. So, for example, claiming this route here is two buses gets you two points and you move your tracker up one, two. You get points for at the end of the game for each completed route. So for example, if I completed from Hyde Park, which is down here, all the way to Covenant Garden, which is over here, I would get three points. And finally, the other way to claim points is to have, see these numbers here? These are districts. So if I have this, so if I have from here to here to here all connected, then I claim, but I could go here, 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 and still have them all connected. So for each district, so five, four, three, two, one, each district connect gets you bonus points as well. And that's really as simple as the game. Uh, what more can be said? It's a nice, tight, small version of Ticket to Ride. And there we have Ticket to Ride London. What more can be said? It's such a small game. I would say this is as easy, if not easier, than my first Ticket to Ride, which we have at home because Wade likes it. Um, I've We have played this once before, me and Wade, and he enjoyed it. It was really good. I've played it with a couple of players, I've played it two player, and I've played it four player. But overall, it's a great Wii version, um, and it only costs you £20. I mean, for 20 quid, you, you're not going to argue with that. I would buy that off the shelf, whether I had it or not. I'd give it a gift, it's easy, it's, it's a great great option. So there you go, Ticket Ride London. And again, if you like Ticket Ride, there is Ticket Ride Europe, Ticket Ride Normal, Ticket Ride Rails and Sales, Ticket Ride everything. But it's a great franchise. Until the next time, <laughs> enjoy.